video talks about the basic concepts of hypothesis, t-test, f-test, under the f-test, one-way ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, chi-square test. Or this video talks about the uh, basic information about the inferential statistics. So now let's first discuss what is hypothesis. Hypothesis. Hypothesis mean a kind of assumption. From the point, uh, uh, from the perspective of perspective of researcher, if a researcher take a assumption which must be bias free, that is hypothesis. Now let's say this is a. a this is a um, class A and this is a class B. There are both class, any type of class. And generally, people say this class A is good. This class A, class A is uh, good, good in their performance, and this class B is bad in their performance. A researcher want to test. A researcher want to test uh, good or bad or etc. From the prospectus of researcher, he um, he do not have to say this class A is good or this class B B is bad without testing. For this case, researchers have to say that the performance of class A performance of class A and the performance of class B are same, these are same. There is no significant difference between the performance, no significant, significant difference, significant difference between the performance between the performance of performance of a and b this is null hypothesis we say null hypothesis Symbolize we use that as not. So, null hypothesis test about there is the equal relationship, there is the same relationship, there is no significance difference between this A and B variables. This is called hypothesis. Now, when talk about the t-test, if we are taking these two variable a and b, if we are comparing mean, average, average performance, average performance, average performance, then if we are comparing the average performance between A, between A and B, then we use t-test. So, basically t-test used for, basically t-test used for the uh, average performance between two independent variable A and B. Okay. Let's minimize the font size mm, and let's select the paint color also. Okay. So what we brings in T test T test. What does it count? 
we test hypothesis in detail. Test of hypothesis. Hypothesis. Test of hypothesis between two variables. Only two variables between two two variables or that or two groups, etc. If here are boys and girls, these two are categorized under the gender. Yes, boys and girls. If we are testing the performance or the average scores of performance between boys and girls, then we use t test. t test only test mean average. average between two variables and we must have a hypothesis for this. A, a hypothesis can be there is a hypothesis can be null hypothesis can be there is no significance different there is no significance, there is no significance difference, there is no significance difference, um, there is no significance difference of performance of, of performance between, between boys and boys and girls. This can be a null hypothesis. Okay. Now, let us talk about uh, app test. What is app test? App test. If we for the app test, we have also a null hypothesis, set of null hypothesis. If we are testing, testing average score, testing average score or mean score amongst, amongst three or three or more than three or more than mm, three variables, three or more than three variables we use app test. We also test variance in app test, but in t test we do not test variance, but app test, app test test variance between or amongst uh, um, variables. App test test average mean amongst three or more than three variable, but t test average between two, two variables, F test variance, F test variance, sigma square, F test variance between or among variables. What is one way ANOVA? one way ANOVA. There are two categories. Now, let us say A, B, sorry, there are three categories A, B, C and X, Y, Z. There are the informations about the category A, 12, 5, now let us say 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 10. 
if we are comparing the average score among this variable a variable b and variable c we say that is one way and no or if we are comparing the average score uh, amongst variable a variable b and variable c then we say that is one way and no that means one way means we are selecting only one category that is under the uh, a b c now let's say this can be uh, any age group this can be any, any ethical groups now let's say this is age from 10 to 15 years this is 16 to 20 years and c became now let's say 21 to 25 years if we are studying the if we are focusing the uh, analysis for only age group in this case then we say that is one way and and what is two way and over? Two way and over. Two way and over. If we are, if we are uh, comparing the now, let's say this ABC is age group. Age group. Uh, now, let's say this XYZ is. Uh, XYZ is ethical groups. This is age group and this is ethical groups. Ethical groups. Okay. If we are trying to analyze the relationship between these ethical groups and age group, then we say that is two way ANOVA. This is one way ANOVA already and we are adding one more analysis, one more variables for ethical groups that is for x, for y and for z, we say that is 2a and y. Okay. Now, let us talk about the chi-square test. What is chi-square test? Uh, chi-square test this chi is meaning for sky chi square test or symbolize chi square test in this test we test the actual data are the actual data are the actual observation the actual data are actual data are fit actual data are fit or not fit they are fit or not fit uh, with observed data expected data expected data or estimate or estimate data are fit the uh, actual data or not this is called goodness of fit goodness of fit and we can attribute test and we can attribute test in in chi square so thank you very much for watching hope this can be very fruitful helpful for um, data calculating and analyzing. Thank you very much.